All right, parents and teachers and kids, listen up. Um, an exciting event is going to be happening soon, and this is the um, bazaar that's going to be and a festival, festival, children's arts festival, that's a right. bazaar, a book session, motivational camp, everything happening yeah. at one place. Football. <laughs> <laughs> Which I know, this yeah, November mentioned. is going to be a busy that's one. That's right. Yeah. So uh, right now we're talking about children's arts festival 2012, and we'd like to welcome in Mr. Razin Abdurrahman, who is the senior manager of Kota Buku Perbadanan uh, Kota Buku. Kota Buku, right? Exactly. Quite a mouthful there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, so much for joining us. Uh, yeah, thank it's you just very a few much. days away from happening. Exactly. Uh, mm. Right. So what, what are the preparations as of now? Okay, we are, uh, we are still calling a few publishers to join us actually for our festivals. Mm. We call this actually Children's Literary, Literary Festival 2012. Mm. Eh? Mm. With the themes is reading on the land, bringing children and books together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what, what are the events that's going to be lined up for? Yeah. We have a few seminars. We have book selling down there. We have actually. Um, reading uh, sort of like book readings and everything down there mm -hmm. <coughs> and um, I know a lot of publishers is going to be joining out uh, where is this going to be um, happening um, in Steam Laya mm -hmm. mm. okay so um, how did when did it first start and how has the response been the response is very positive this is our second year actually in Rome yeah, yeah because we started the whole thing last year mm -hmm. so we get the idea from Bologna Children's Book Fair which the, the consideration is not on selling actually, it's more towards like the content itself to, to literacy, to, literacy yeah. to, to introduce uh, the means our, liter uh, our books eh, that we have yeah. to the children exactly. Mm. I know you're working with a lot of um, organisations to exactly. actually make this happen, so um, what are the other organisations that you're working mm. with aside from UM and PetroScience? Yeah. PetroScience is that actually, uh, Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. we work with MBBY, mm -hmm. uh, then a few others actually. Uh -huh. And um, will you be having uh, having uh, shows by the children as well? We do have actually. We have mm -hmm. few theatres mm -hmm. uh, staged by the one Bahasa Pustaka. Mm -hmm. We have uh, although uh, we we also have um, uh, storytelling mm -hmm. sessions actually with the children and everything. Oh, uh -huh. right. So it's going to happen between the first until the sixth, sixth of November. Exactly. So oh, throughout wait. the whole. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Wonderful. Now. Um, I, I to you know ask you this some parents you know in our busy schedule you know we just give our gadgets to the children you know without really paying attention then I go play iPad and you know I have to finish my work <laughs> take my tablet yeah take my tablet and you know go you know do you play your game or something like that you know I know it's not a bad thing because it stimulates the mind exactly. but you know how do you change this more you know, you know in a more positive manner mm. for, for the kids just, we like to invite all the parents and the children to come to our festival mm. to, link, to to see the content that we offer actually during mm. the festivals because then they can choose we, we do offer actually the digital content down there yep. so they can choose the best one to the children ah, right. exactly okay. so what sort of feedback did you receive when you when it first started the festival last year mm -hmm. uh, what the, what did you, feedback did you get from the parents for instance okay they, they, they need more content actually ah. because of no they can buy books from the bookshops and everything right. but they need content actually what are the, what nation can offer eh? yeah. nation um, publishers can offer interactive too. activities exactly yeah. something like that Mm -hmm. right. Tell us more about Pabadana Kota Buku. Um, what's your role in your uh, promoting um, arts and literature among children? Okay, um, that's a part of it actually. Children's literature is a part of it mm -hmm. because we bring together the publishers, the readers, mm -hmm. and the writers together in one uh, in one particular mm -hmm. platform. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, um, we are 100% owned by the government. I see. Mm -hmm. And um, how has the effort been so far? You know, what are the well, what kind of books do you promote? Um, we promote all, all all kind of books actually. We start with the children's first. Mm -hmm. So this is our first year uh, operated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we start with the children's. We hope that sooner or later we will grow to other other general avenues. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, what makes you know how, how do you you know filter your selection? Oh, the things like this. Bec um, we, are, we have to be very open, actually. Okay. Because we ourselves involved in international lit festivals and everything. Mm -hmm. We have to see on the angles that we can sell to to, to outside. Yeah, Malaysia mm -hmm. to yeah, Malaysian literary. Uh, Malaysian works to outside actually. Yeah. That's the whole objective. Well, I'm actually holding up uh, the, the poster, poster right, here. right now. Mm -hmm. You can see there. Uh, it's, be, it's going to be held between the 1st to the 6th of November at Faculty Sastra Dan Science Social, University Malaya. Mm -hmm. Start at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. until 5.30 p.m. And you can see there are all the activities that's going to happen. Maybe you can read up some? Yes, uh, I mean, we've got the... Um, Workshops. Uh, well, we've got workshops, we've got seminars, um, we've got um, book chats and 
book, uh, well, book promotion uh, sessions, and they've got Upin and Ipin, Bobo Boy, uh, and okay. Super Tot. I can't uh, Storytelling. All the more reason for you to go there. Yes, uh, storytelling <laughs> campaign, uh, workshop. Um, and of course, um, a session with Petronas, and they have ah. a theatre performance oh, yes. um, that will be uh, presented by the children. Uh, Fantasia Membaca, uh, you know, reading fantasy. Um, wh why, why, why was this theme chosen? Mm -hmm. No, because of, we know that the children's the world, children's world is different. See, mm -hmm. they have lots of fantasies and everything. Uh -huh. So we want to sort of like to make it very interactive mm -hmm. and very interesting to them. So it has to be a fantasy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you you know keep on promoting books, um, especially you know now <laughs> we can you know download and. How, how do you balance e books out? and yeah, websites all happening? No, conventional book never dies. It's <laughs> always there. Because mm. certain, certain parents would like to have books, physical books in their shelves mm. to have their own libraries. Mm. And digital is something that's new in the market. Not everybody can afford to, to yeah. download everything. See? That's true. What's your advice to parents when it comes to you know, choosing the right book for the children? Yeah. Choose the choose the book that the children love to read. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right. So mm -hmm. when it comes to this uh, uh, event itself, uh, at what age, uh, you know, with which uh, age range can the children go? No, it's open to us from zero uh -huh. to 16 years old. 16. Exactly. Right. And how can this, um, well, this uh, festival help promote, uh, well, help the authors and publishers as well? Mm. I mean, you have all these great writers and all these talent here in Malaysia. Yeah, you know, exactly. how can they be a part of this? Okay, that means the writer can sort of can in, uh, interactive straight to the to the buyers, to the yes. children, mm -hmm. to tell to the to tell the, the books, eh, the story of the books and everything. Mm -hmm. and sometimes because this writer actually very. Uh, very uh, have different personality that's yeah. right which can sort of like to attract the readers yeah mm -hmm. uh, that, that's what we, we want actually um, who are your celebrities or you know uh, big names who will be gracing this event uh, yang amat berbahagia uh, 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 Puan Sri Noraini Abraman okay. uh, mm -hmm. the wife of uh, Tip, our deputy, deputy Prime, Minister. Prime Minister will be officiate the events on the 3rd of November oh, nice. right. exactly okay. do you see many uh, local authors being uh, participating in this exactly yeah. most of the, most of them is there actually wow that's uh -huh. great local authors yeah. all right so it's going to be you, happening yeah do you have local authors um, specializing in children's books as we well? do have actually oh, yeah, yeah we do have mm. time oh. to highlight them all yeah. exactly <laughs> we will have 20 illustrators mm. uh, great illustrators will be there. Nice. Uh -huh. So authors, illustrators, exactly. publishers. All right. Exactly. So this is a really great event. It involves everyone. Um, your, you know, we like you to invite our parents and teachers and educators okay. and children. To all children and parents down there, we would like to invite them to be in our festival from 1st to 6th of November mm -hmm. uh, in New Steam Laya mm -hmm. and come and join us actually. That's right. right. Exactly. Thank be you so there much. at 9 a.m. Yes, as early as possible. Thank you That's so much, right. Mr. Razin. It's going Thank to be happening you, at UM. You. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of things are lined up for your kids. That's so right. there you. will never be a dull moment uh, right. for Fantasia Mombacha reading That's fantasy. And reading the website Fantasia. is mm -hmm. actually www.fantasia.com.my. Uh, Fantasia, F A N T A S I A. Uh, and you can also log on to the Facebook. So facebook.com slash perbadanan kota buku. Mm -hmm. hey. So uh, coming right up, we're going to be talking to uh, Dr. Kumara Guru Vicky Pile. Um, about vascular diseases, a reason why you should stop smoking. I've been mm. stressing it from time to time. <laughs> so stay with us on Hello Antu. Don't go away.